Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from DansFish.com and let me show you what we have going on today. First of all, we have all of the horizontal beams delivered. These came yesterday um, so that we can start assembling our shells. So we have the horizontal units here, or I'm sorry, the vertical units here. They're hard to see under all this stuff. Um, the spacers here and these will be the horizontal units that the racks of the rack that the tanks actually rest on. Um, when this dried, when I poured the cement patch into the drain, it's, it's just a little high. So to really make that finalized, I've got to grind it down. So I've got my grinder here with the diamond bit. I'm going to grind that down just so that the water doesn't have to struggle to get over this new cement, which is just slightly higher than the cement to the side of it, to get to the drain. So I'm going to do that today, and that is, <laughs> that is the messiest job ever. I'm going to look like a coal miner when I'm done, it's just this fine cement dust will get kicked up everywhere, but, uh, but instead of black, it's like this white coating that will just coat everything. I hate that job. Normally I wouldn't do it. I did it. In the original facility, I did the entire floor and it was horrible. But since this is just a small space, just a couple square feet or so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. Then the other thing we're working on, oh, by the way, when you do that, you need a respirator. You want stuff to cover your ears and your eyes. Then the other thing I'm doing is this is our tankless water heater. Um, it's a Renai, I really like this one. This is the same is I have in the other facility. I got the exact same one because I like it so much. And what I've been doing is building this platform up here so I can get up here and work safely. This is just out of scrap lumber. Um, so I can get up here and I can step on this platform and work up here without, you know, falling. <laughs> this is the mounting lumber for the hot water heater. It's just tacked in right now. The other thing I want to do today is I have some lag screws. Um, so I'll lag these in really tight so that they're nice and secure so they can take the weight and I don't have to worry. It's a gas appliance. You know, I don't want it falling. I don't want fires or anything. So I'm going to lag those in and then uh, I have the hanging hardware to attach here and here to get that water heater up there and finalize. But I had to build this first just because and screw it all down, make it nice and secure. Just because I didn't want to be trying to balance on, on these beams, um, like I'm in Cirque du Soleil or something. So, I am now going to take this camera and get it out of here because I don't want all that fine concrete dust I'm about to stir up to, to get in the camera and ruin everything. So, I'm gonna turn this off and get to work. Oh, I should show you this too. This is the HRV. Um, it's a Fantech, and there's so much on it that I'll open it another time and show you, I guess. All right, I'm getting to it. All right, I think the dust has settled enough. I don't know if you can see it on screen here, but uh, to come in and kind of show you. So here's what I did. Just ground all that down. Here's just the finest dust you'll ever see in your life. You don't want to breathe that stuff. But, all right, that part's done. Now I gotta sweep up. All right, so we are done that little bit. So, hopefully you can see this. This is, you can see where it's been sanded off. It's kinda, it looks grainy, a little bit pebbly. And now it goes from here and slopes down slightly to the drain. Ever so slightly, instead of being up above where the water would have to go here and it'd get caught on the lip before it got to the drain. So, that's why that was important. Also, we have our water heater hung. Um, it's not completely plumbed in yet, but it's hung and ready. The reason it's not plumbed in yet is I want to wait until the furnace is installed before I cut the hole above that for the vent because I don't want um, frozen water in there, basically. I don't want, to get, want water to get in there and freeze and burst the unit. So I'm not going to turn 
get that installed and stuff until the, the furnace is all ready to go. I probably could, it's probably got some mechanism that prevents it from freezing, but um, but I got plenty of other stuff to do in the meantime. So, and next video, we'll show you how to build all these racks. So, racks are coming along. Happy about that. But, that, as they say, is another video. So, hope you have a good one. If you like this stuff, if you consider subscribing, liking, sharing, hitting notification bells, all that jazz, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to buy some fish, we've got some stuff at dansfish.com for you to check out. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.